How should we live? That's the all important question of Christian ethics. How should we live? And I declare tonight the church alone has the proper answers to that question. And the greatest battle we are in is the battle for truth. The attack on truth has manifested itself, particularly in the area of human sexuality and sexual ethics. There's times I am a little reluctant, but still need to, take a stand for God's standards of morality when the majority of the culture disagrees. When parents in your church come to you heartbroken over their child's experience of gender confusion, do you know what you're going to say? Values have consequences, and as I like to say, every day is ethics day. We make hundreds of decisions, large and small. Sometimes we think the large ones are going to be the large decisions, but actually it's the small decisions that become the large decisions. Parents, you have to teach your young people that there's a big difference between information and wisdom. I don't think there's any doubt that our culture is seriously neglecting moral and ethical training of our kids. Uh, the educational system is shot through with moral relativism, uh, and they're, they're affirming this idea of, you know, you be you, uh, regardless of any moral standards that govern behavior. Many Christians have not received much or any training in how to think about ethics and ethical issues. In fact, many of them don't even know where to begin. And if churches continue to ignore ethical issues, then Christians will continue to be shaped by a culture that is openly hostile to Christianity. Frankly, I can't think of a, a more important two and a half days in this year's calendar than this year's Shepherds 360 Conference. Even parents who are wrestling with ethical issues will feel its impact. And church leaders, I, I want you to be encouraged. Gathering with another thousand church leaders is a great reminder that you're not alone. Uh, this conference will be so valuable. So come and, and have your heart stirred for the Lord, your mind better equipped through biblically rich content so that you can more effectively shepherd the flock of God entrusted to you.